AMA New Jersey community. My name is Kendra Clark, and I'm the current president for the American Marketing Association of New Jersey. So I'm here to bring you the May edition of the president's letter for our monthly newsletter update. As always, I'm excited to be able to talk to you about the updates that are going on with the organization. I think this is a great way to be able to engage with you and let you know about your AMA New Jersey chapter. So one of the things I wanted to mention is that we are winding down and getting towards the finish line for this board year. So for those of you who don't know, the AMA New Jersey board year starts in July of the previous year and ends in June of the following year. And so that just means that for me and my presidency, that term will end at the end of June. However, Jamie Jurgatis, who is your president-elect for this year, will be moving into the president's role starting in July. So things will continue to be awesome and amazing, and many of you already know Jamie. So look forward to that transition and, you know, great things to come. But don't, you know, Brett, we still have a lot going on, many things that are happening between now and then that are opportunities that you can take advantage of. So one of the big things I wanted to announce for this update is that we have our June conference coming up. It is the first time that we'll be doing a June conference um, virtually. We have held conferences before in the past. Unfortunately, our last one had to be canceled due to COVID, as probably many have, um, but we are doing our first virtual conference and that will be on June 10th. So I need you to save that date, June 10th. Make sure it's on your calendar. We will have more details to come about speakers and timing, but definitely make sure to look out for it because we have a unique lineup of topics and things that you probably haven't seen in your typical marketing conference. And I'm very excited about it because our programming and events team has put so much work and effort into making sure we bring you engaging, interesting, thought-provoking content. And the title for this conference is A Brand New Day in Marketing. So we're really honing in on the theme of a brand new day in marketing because realistically, that's what we're all experiencing now. Um, we've had to shift, we've had to invent, we've had to be innovative, we've had to be agile throughout everything that's been going on. And it's really changed the way that we do marketing in many ways. So we're going to touch on a couple of topics through this conference and I hope to see you there. Again, look out for that information and save the, the date of June 10th. All right, the next updates will be about our upcoming events. And we have quite a few on the docket. One of the first events is our healthcare marketing panel called Marketing Strategies to Build Customer Trust in the Digital Age. And so that's going to be on May 6th, Thursday, May 6th at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. It's actually a collaboration with multiple AMA chapters. And we have a treat because our immediate past president, Mary Considine, will be the moderator for that panel. So look out for the Eventbrite. It should be in this newsletter and make sure to sign up. It is sure to be an engaging conversation, particularly because healthcare within the time of COVID has been quite the challenging industry to work in with regulations and different things and the information that you wanna put out as someone who works in healthcare marketing. So make sure to join us. Again, that is on May 6th. The next two events that'll be coming up are our traditional networking events. So we will have our morning networking on Tuesday, May 11th at 9 a.m. And then our evening networking, which is always on a Monday, or at least this time is going to be on a Monday, um, it will be on Monday, May 17th at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And so we switched up the Tuesday one is usually on a Thursday, but that's just because of our panel the week prior. And then our Mondays are always traditionally on Mondays. So those are free for everyone to join us. Make sure that if you're interested in meeting new people, you wanna get into engaging conversation with people of like mind, people who speak your marketing language, make sure to join us on those two dates. So Tuesday morning, coffee and connections or coffee and conversations on um, May 11th. 
and then our marketing Monday happy hour on May 17th. The next event is definitely in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. So many of you may already be aware of the elevated mental health crisis that has happened um, in the past year or more, um, especially due to everything that's been going on in our world. And so for me personally, I always think it is incredibly crucial to take care of your mental health because that's the best way that not only can you ensure that you're the best person that you can be, but if something of your goal is to help others or to be there for others, you definitely have to take care of yourself first. So we're going to have a workshop, um, Mindfulness at Work, how to show up present, calm, and, and, and centered, sorry, and centered. And that's going to be on Tuesday, May 25th at 12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And we have Trace, Tracy Fink, who is a um, health and wellness and mindfulness coach and she's the founder of the tortoise institute and so we're just going to have you know a presentation by her and about ways that we can ensure that we are taking care of ourselves and even while we're working where a lot of our stressors tend to happen so make sure to join us for that event again that is may 25th at 12 p.m eastern daylight time and then the last event that I have to mention for today is our all book coffee and conversations, which is our book club series. And this is the fourth in the series for this fiscal year. The book that we are going to be reading and discussing is The Signals Are Talking by Amy Webb. So if you're interested in joining our book discussions, definitely make sure to sign up. That event is free for everyone as well. And it's just a way to kind of engage in a different um, way in a different format. And the book discussion is led by our VP of Programming and Events, Christine Hopp. So all of these events should be available for you to sign up in our email newsletter and on social media and on our website. So make sure to visit those platforms to find out more details. And I definitely hope to see you at those events. And one other thing I wanna mention is that we do have membership for those of you who would like to take advantage of our resources and opportunities of a and members. And so our membership is $149 annually, which is great because you get access to so many different things, including free AMA New Jersey events, discounted AMA national events, tools and resources that you can use on the job every day from AMA national, as well as research and other things to help you in your professional and daily life. So if you're interested in membership, make sure to reach out to us and particularly reach out to Jennifer Love, who is our VP of membership, and she will be able to give you more details about how you can join our AMA New Jersey community. So I think that's my update for May this month. Um, we have so much happening um, within the chapter and so many great things that we are going to be bringing you. So make sure if you're not subscribed to our newsletter to subscribe um, because you might be looking at this through YouTube instead of the actual newsletter. Um, so make sure you subscribe. We have um, weekly communications that can provide some resources and details and things about our events. You can also become a volunteer, which will give you even more access and more um, professional development and things to help you in your career and membership as well will give you some of those same opportunities. So this was great. I really hope that you will continue to engage with us and I wanna see you at our next event. And I hope that you all stay safe, take care of your mental health, take care of yourself. And I will see you at the next President's Letter update. Have a good one, bye.